Now we haven't spoken much about binoculars in the past on this channel, but that is about to change because Zeiss sent us a few samples of the different types of binoculars that they make. Now this isn't the first time that I've used binoculars like these. I use them for nature walks, for wildlife walks, and I use them as a tool to help me with my wildlife or bird photography. I use them kind of as a spotting device. The reason for that is they're a lot lighter, a lot easier to kind of look through, hold up, check out what's going on, the lifting up a big heavy lens. So they're a really, really useful tool, I find at least, for going out and doing that. But of course, they're great for bird watching, wildlife watching, nature walks in general. They're a really nice thing to have with you. Now, something that all of these models actually have in common is they're extremely lightweight. So we're talking about the SFL 10 by 40, the SFL 8 by 40, and then of course the SF 8 by 32 as well. So they all look reasonably similar in terms of their design. They all have a, a shared DNA. Let's start off by talking about the SF8 by 32. Now, of course, this is very, very lightweight. It's very portable. The center of gravity here is much closer to the eye. So it feels even lighter than it is when you're actually holding it. It's very comfortable and easy to use. You've got the focus wheel here in the middle, which is very, very nice and easy to use with one finger. It's 1.6 rotations to actually go from the closest focusing distance all the way out so nice and easy to use as well and it feels very natural this is not something that took me very long to kind of get to grips with with how to use it image quality wise is obviously beautiful these lenses this glass this optic quality is fantastic it just looks very very nice now part of that is down to the fluoride lenses within the binoculars that increases the contrast and reduces color fringing as well but otherwise just the whole package it feels lightweight but it's also very, you know, premium. This is a good quality set of binoculars. You know, if you want to go take bird watching very seriously, you want to be able to have something light and easy to take around with you, so it's not going to be super heavy, but you're going to get fantastic optical quality. This is a great pair to go for. Now, similarly, we've got the SFL 10 by 40 and 8 by 40. These share obviously a lot in common, with the difference being the actual end element here, which is slightly different in size. Again, super lightweight. You've got the SFL, that L, as far as I'm aware at least, stands for lightweight. If it doesn't, it definitely should. These things are almost you know, it's almost crazy how light this is. You could absolutely, you know, pop this in its little protective bag, take this out with you without ever really noticing you had it. It's the kind of thing that's easy enough to just take it in case, right? Even if you're not going specifically for this occasion to do bird watching or wildlife watching, it's easy to just take these with you. So in terms of buying a pair of binoculars, because these aren't, the, you know, the cheapest things in the world to buy, it's a great one to go for because you know, you're not going to be having to lug around something big and heavy. It's not an incredibly heavy amount of glass. You don't really have to think about it too much. So it's kind of something you can take with you all the time. And travel wise, this is not going to eat up a lot of kind of weight in your bag or size in your bag as well, which I think is an important consideration if you want to take these traveling. We've got a nice large field of view on all three of these models. 1.5 meter close focusing distance here on the 10 by 40, which is really impressive. That means you can actually you can look at things pretty close up if you want to do a little bit of almost essentially macro binocular use, if you want to look at bugs and stuff like that, but without getting so close as to kind of scare them and they move off. And again, much like with the SF 8x32s, the SFLs have fantastic image quality. I mean, it really is fantastic. It looks so good. This has been really fun, actually, to go out and use. You know, I don't often think about binoculars because I'm not, I'm not a bird watcher or anything like that. Like I say, I use them more as a tool for my photography, but I've got to say, there's something very tranquil and calming, and I can definitely see the appeal of using something like this to actually observe wildlife in its natural habitat, just observe it from afar and be able to watch. And with these, you know, there's no kind of long-term, I'll take my glasses off of this. You don't start to ache is what I'm trying to get at. You know, you hold these up to your eyes, you're not starting to, to really have a problem with kind of aching and, and, and hurting in the arms and stuff like that. You know, I feel like I could do this for a long time. I feel like it'd be easy to, to sit and watch, especially on a lovely day, you know. That's a really nice way to spend some time. Now there's gonna be links down in the description for you to go and check out these different binoculars. There's a bunch of different ones down there. Zeiss makes some really beautiful bits of glass, right? Whether it's lenses, binoculars, all kinds of stuff. 
And absolutely, that is the case here. It's been an absolute joy to you. So go and check them out down in the description. Of course, if you have any questions or any thoughts of your own, if you're a bird watcher or anything like that at all, if you use binoculars really in any way, I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe as well if you enjoyed the video. There's loads more videos coming all the time. But of course, until next time, as always, the only thing left for me to say is thanks for watching.